is going on today guys and welcome to elk pro plays and i am bringing you guys the first terraria tutorial so right off the bat in this tutorial i'm gonna first get some wood chop up all these trees around this place um so i can build a shelter for night um that's pretty much the obvious thing you need to do um in basically any game like minecraft or and terraria you ba you need to have a shelter for night because when night comes you're going to be overrun with hordes of zombies and other monsters and so you're going to need a place to stay as well as your npc to play which ours is harley so welcome to the gay or welcome to the video harley and let's get over here i'm trying to look for some of the taller trees that give you more wood and you so you can spend less time uh trying to chop up trees and then you can spend more time building your house and exploring around the world which is another one of the key things you need to do when you first start is kind of explore around the world and get a good feel for it because you're gonna want to find chests and what are in chests is there's tons of gear, coins, and everything. And coins are very important, um, especially later on in the game when you have more NPCs. Um, so you can trade and buy things with them. And it looks like I found uh, some more trees over here. So I'm just going to chop these up really quickly. And let's get all this wood. Alright. And let's go to these two taller trees over here. I'm probably going to end up clearing this entire area because it's pretty, it's flat, it's a long flat ground so it'll be good for building a house. Um, and it doesn't really matter the size of your house on the first day as long as you can have a chest and a, a workbench in it and maybe a table and a chair so you can have your NPC um, housed in it so you can keep him safe. But he will pretty much go in there anyways even if he's not housed in there he'll just walk in because it's a safe place for him to go so it doesn't really matter on the first day if he's housed or not but it does matter that you guys have shelter and so looks like I have about three slimes coming towards me um, I don't really have a good weapon because my sword it just kinda like stabs out it doesn't have really the range like a good weapon would be one that like swings out like this axe and that does a little more damage than the axe does. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the sword because that does a little more da damage than the axe does. Um, so I'm just going to get these slimes, kill them, and then we're going to clear one more tree. And then we're going to do a little bit of exploring and see what we, what kind of chests and gear we can find. Alright, so the slimes are uh, dead. And you can see I'm getting these copper coins. Save those. Don't get rid of them. They'll be very important later on in the game, like I already said. So let's just get this last tree, and then we'll go explore. Hopefully we can find some caves. Caves usually do have a lot of, uh, like, pottery and chests in them. Pottery, if you break them open, they, they have coins and ropes and other, and, like, healing potions, potions, and they have a lot of good stuff in them that you... Basically, some of the stuff that you get in the chests and in the pots, you can't craft. So they're very useful and everything. So you're going to want them. And also keep everything you uh, get in the first little bit of the game. Even if you think it's worth like, worthless like this gel, you can actually make torches and campfires and everything with gel. And the, uh, the third thing that you're want, gonna want to do on your first day um, is mine pretty much every resource you see. So right here we have some. I think this is tin. Yes, tin. We have some tin ore, and so tin ore isn't you know it's not the best ore in the game obviously because it's above ground and it's easy to find, but it's definitely gonna get help you get weapons and armor, and it'll help you survive your first night. Um, on Terraria, or I don't really know how to pronounce it. So, you, some people say Terraria, some people say Terraria. I, I say Terraria personally, but I don't. I don't think there's much of a difference. 
if you say you can say either one of the name and people will know what you're talking about so here we have some lead and then there's more tin over on that side of the uh little like thingy and you're going to want to make sure that you don't run it out, out of those bubbles because well it's pretty self-explanatory you're going to drown and you don't want to drown on your first day because then you lose all your money and on the first days i have gotten gold it's just i it's just on certain worlds where you can get gold and they'll they'll have a little bit better resources and better caves and everything so i can see a pot from right here in that uh cave system as well as what looks like one piece of uh lead ore so i'm gonna go get those after i finish mining up this tin and we'll run over there and this slime's gonna come at me so he's just gonna get whacked by the oh no he's gonna whack me all right well looks like we got in a fight right here guys so i wouldn't go on my first day i want to go picking around fights with slimes because they are they have a lot more life and do a lot more damage to you especially if there's that you get into like a middle of a horde on accident so like i'm surrounded by about four of these but i can easily just poke that one off the edge and we should be good to get past these dudes see then they almost just played ping pong with me and oh that guy went through me so i'm just gonna grab this pot hopefully i can get out of this area pretty fast i actually don't think that that right there's ten so i'm just gonna leave it because it's not worth dying to try and get that and ooh, we just narrowly got hit by that guy so we're gonna jump over and now they're all in that ditch so we should be good and alive so they took away 40 of our life um that's okay uh for now but if they get us down to like 20 we probably have to start going towards our npc so he can kind of give us some firepower with his bow and your npc most of the npcs do have weapons um like the nymphs they have they have like this special uh like kind of like a spell thingy that just shoots leaves around everywhere so they're pretty useful for defending your house um from you know mobs and, and zombies and everything slimes zombies and they also will help you when you're fighting a boss but when you're fighting bosses really nothing does that much damage and definitely not the npcs because well they're npcs and you know so npcs are stupid and they don't know how to do anything all right so right here we have a vulture and an ant lion so we're gonna go these things shoot yep they shoot these little ball thingies at you so you don't want to really mess with these i don't know why i'm hitting it probably gonna kill me so i'm just gonna run away and vultures really will leave you alone unless you do what i just did and try to jump up and attack them and now they're gonna both come at me like a bunch of weenies all right so right here oh down there is a one of those giant dragonfly things i forget what they're called all right so we got a double hit on both on these vultures ah frick all right i'm gonna go with the axe because they're about to kill me so they got us down to 24 life that's not very good hit you and we are only doing one damage and now we're getting swarmed so let's just keep swinging keep swinging and hopefully we won't die right here guys um let's just oh crap there's the antelion and we're gonna have to make a jump over this dude uh, he can hit us all right go 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 we're going the opposite way all right we're just gonna have these guys keep following us and we're just gonna keep giving them wax and there we go antelion swarmer just killed us we dropped seven copters so you do keep the stuff in your inventory most of the times you just drop all your money, or most of your money. Um, I don't know how much I had, but I think that was most of my things. And it does take a while to respawn. Um, I think it's mostly just so the bosses can get away. Because so once you die, by f when you're fighting a boss, you can't go back and fight it. Unless you're playing multiplayer and there's another person... That's not an NPC. It's playing with you. I'm gonna chop this red squirrel. And some of them give you coins, but it's only like one coin, and they're really not worth killing. But I'll just do it anyways, cause it's the first day, and we do need some more money. Um, I think we did lose all of ours. Let's see. So we still have six, 
and we're just gonna get some more. We got two more or three more from that, and let's we're just gonna go run over. It looks like I missed some of this or this tin ore right here. So we're just gonna karate chop this slime, and hopefully, after we pick up this tin, we can get a better sword, and then we can go charge down those vultures and that ant and those two ant lions. And hopefully we can uh, kill them and get into that cave. That cave looked pretty promising. Um, so hopefully we can get back there before night. Um, but I'm just going to finish chopping up these trees and building the house. And then we'll see where we're at from there. So let's just chop up that. Go to the next one. You don't really... There's nothing... The wood doesn't re, uh, despawn for like... Uh, five minutes or so so if you're just chopping up a grove like this you don't really need to pick up every single piece um, right off the bat cuz it's not gonna be gone for an another five to ten minutes so you can just go ahead and chop up the rest of the grove without worrying about them despawning and it looks like we have another slime coming up on our right so we should be able to easily take him out so let's run down over there he just jumped so he's not gonna jump again and we're gonna easily easily take him out on three well placed hits I don't even think he touched the ground after we hit him but that's not really important slimes are super easy to defeat I don't know why I'm going on and on about slimes but let's just finish with this grove and we have another slime coming on our right. And slimes are annoying at first, but once you get better, you know, you can just one hit and they're dead. Um, they're pretty easy to kill, even with this forceful copper sword, which sometimes your swords and stuff do get stuff. So we do have 15% knockback and a very fast speed, so we can go stabbing people. Um, and they'll they'll fly back like if we go stab this slime he's gonna go back pretty far and that's probably why they're not touching the ground at all after we killed them so let's just get a couple more copper pieces and let's get on with building this house I don't know why I have dirt I don't even remember dropping up any dirt but oh well so you don't really have to build your it doesn't have to be a grand house it can just be a simple you know square or rectangle shape like I'm building right here, and this dumb slime is going to come and annoy me. So I'm going to jump up. Oh, missed him. Well, sucks to be you, I guess. And he's going to go, ooh. Looks like we got a little bit of an extra damage right there. It usually takes about three hits to kill slimes, with this sword at least. Um, but that guy went down in one hit. So I'm just going to make it all the way up until we don't have any more flat ground which is right here and then do that so then I'm gonna craft a workbench real quick so we can uh, get all this good stuff so we need to get walls and doors so you can just hold down your uh, right click and you'll get tons of walls uh, I probably need more than that I'm gonna grab another hundred or so and boom it does take a lot of walls to do a house especially when it's this big um, this house is probably a little bit bigger than you guys are gonna build it um, unless you know you spend your entire time uh, collecting wood and, and building your house instead of going out to explore if you want to keep uh, your copper and your uh, NPCs uh, a little more safe than I did I lost some copper but that's alright we didn't lose that much, so it's not, copper, you don't, if you lose 7, if you lose under 50, you're fine, but if you lose more than 50, you were pretty close to getting a silver piece, and silver pieces are obviously more, uh, they're, they are worth more, and they'll get you a lot more stuff than just copper coins will, like, copper coins will probably get you, like, 50 pieces of wood, and that's probably it, but silver pieces, they'll get you a lot of good stuff, and gold pieces will obviously get you a ton of good stuff, like piggy banks and money troughs. Money troughs and piggy banks are really fun to have. You can, basically what they are is, like they said, piggy banks and money troughs. 
So you hold this little thing, and when you click it, it spawns this piggy bank, and you can put uh, all sorts of stuff in there, all your stuff that you want to kind of save. So when you die, you don't lose those coins that are in your money trough or or your piggy bank, and so you get a so you know you save them, and then then next time you want to make a purchase or something, you just open up your piggy bank, grab your coins out, and then you can make a purchase um, without. And then you can put them right back in, so you can't, so you don't really lose like any of your stuff when you die. Um, so those are always good. They cost, I think, a piggy bank costs five gold, and a money trough, I think, can only be found in um, chests and stuff, which is why uh, you need to go exploring on your first day if you want to find good stuff because most of the stuff that is good for beginners you can't really craft or find in a shop um, so you know the best thing you can do is explore and a campfire right here they they're they help they do a like a boost with a life regen thing so um, they're they're useful and everything, but they're not like essential um, on your first day. But life regen is pretty good, so I'm just gonna throw on some wood armor, and then we're gonna go out exploring. Hopefully, we can get past this that uh, cave. And I don't have any arrows, so I'm not gonna buy a bow. And this, yes, this sword does have a lot of reach and it does. A lot more damage than this copper sword this does seven that does five so that's a two damage difference so that's pretty good and so let's run out over here real quick and so that there's goldfish uh, I don't think they even give anything unless they're one of those uh, like hostile goldfishes with the red eyes um, I'm pretty sure they give you stuff and if you guys ever find a pinky slime make sure you kill it because they give you like 10 or 20 around gold, that much silver and then they give you about 5 to 10 gold so they're pretty they're probably one of the best mobs in the game besides the bosses um so oh wait no it, so there's not just a pink slime it's a little tiny thing it's called a pinky um cause they're really small and they're pink and they have a ton they carry a ton of loot and if you see an umbrella slime, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, it's just a regular slime. They mostly have the umbrellas when it's been raining. Or if it is raining, it's just like a decoration kind of thing. But I have gotten umbrellas before, and basically what they do is just slow down your fall. Um, but you still basically get the same amount of damage after you hit the ground. Um, they just It just helps you, so if you have claws or wings that need to like regen their or like get their timer thing back because wings you can get wings later on in the game um they you can fly with them but they after you use them for a certain amount of time they have like a cooldown so umbrella basically just like slows your fall so you can get so your wings can cool down and then you can fly again or land somewhere safely and looks like that's our gold I mean our copper that we dropped and that's only oh that's seven so I guess if you come back to your death place you can get all your money and stuff back and looks like that those antelions and those vultures left um so looks like we have a free passageway down into here and I don't know how far this fall is so I'm just going to take it real careful. Okay, looks like it's not that bad. So we'll get down there. And where's my torches? Torches, I'm going to put right next to my sword. So I can do an easy access to both of them. Alright, so we got some pots around here. Oops. Okay, well, we're dead. That sucked. Alright, well, we dropped 29 copper. So we do still have all of our stuff. That was stupid of me. I thought those blocks up there were solid, but apparently they're not. And there was an antelion swimmer down there, so... Uh, even if I did survive that, he would probably kill me. Kill me. Alright, so I'm just going to take a run for it. Hopefully we can make it back to that cave, grab our resources, and grab a couple of, of pots. Maybe get a chest. Hopefully get a chest. 
and run back to the house before nighttime comes. And zombies are literally your main enemy um, at the first of the game because they will swarm you like heck. And once there's one zombie, if it hits you, then it's like, I don't know, but it like sends out a signal to like every other zombie in the world and they all just come straight for you. And it gets gets pretty intense, especially if you still have this little copper sword um, doorbell ring. Not my problem. All right, so let's just hop over into here. Boom, boom, boom. Boo. This water's gonna slow me down. And here we have a blue slime. So let's just give him a good whack in the head. Oops, we missed him. Oh well, he's just gonna keep running over there. And he's not gonna come for us because he saw how beast we are. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. If you hold shift, then your torches will automatically come out. Um, so that's useful um, to use. And then when you undo shift, you get right back to your sword. And torches do not work in the water, sadly. But glow sticks do, and you'll get glow sticks in pots or in chests. Glow sticks are useful, except for the only thing is, is when you try to place them, they kind of like roll. So you can't really do like precision placing. You kind of like get it in the general area. And especially in caves, if you throw it, it kind of like rolls off the sides of and the edges of cliffs and stuff. And it kind of gets annoying after you waste like 20 glow sticks trying to get yourself some light. And then some mobs come and take you out and it gets pretty annoying um so if you're gonna try and do some precision placing i would suggest um bringing along your torches especially in caves now let's give this guy a whack in the head let's get revenge because i'm mad boom oh we missed him oh he's coming down what an idiot and we can't really hit this guy, so boom. Barely missed. Boom. One more hit should do him. Oh, no, two more hits. Oh, no, three more hits. What is with this dude? He is invincible. Okay, we missed that one. And boom, dead. So we got 62 copper. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So if we go back down and get our other copper, we should have 100. And when you get 100, it turns into one silver. So we would have one silver piece. And these dumb sand slimes, they have so much life and they don't give you anything, basically. They give you like two copper coins. And they have so much life. Um, and they're pretty annoying too, they do a lot of damage. They do like 20 or 10, to, between 10 and 20 each hit they do. If they get a critical hit at least. Um, okay, so kill this sand thingy. Boosh, this is taking forever. Get out of my life, buddy. Oh, is he going over? Alright, let's, let's let him hop up and then smash him out of the air. And we got 81 copper, so we now have one silver coin right there. And let's go down more carefully this time. Alright, so there's the block that we landed on before. Ooh. So that's these are the ones that I thought were the... Thing. So we got two silver and sixteen copper. Um, let's see. Uh, let's jump. Let's go. Okay, let's. Just, we're just going down, I guess, and get this pot. We got shurikens, fourteen shurikens. What the? Why am I? I'm shifting and it's going to my pickaxe. That's weird. All right. Well, I guess. Just have to do it the old-fashioned way. We got one silver and fourteen copper, and something just fell right there. I think it was just a worm, though. Hopefully, it wasn't one of those giant sand things. Okay, we got nineteen shurikens. Yeah, it's just mud or something. All right, so we got more shurikens. Shurikens are pretty good. Um, so since they're my only ranged things, I'm just gonna use them. Okay, yeah, in there. Okay, so oops. Rip out my torch, and we made that jump barely. If that ledge wasn't there, we would be dead. And there's our copper. Let's pick it up, and we have more silver. Oh, we got five silver. Nice. All right, so let's just keep heading down. Ooh, trophy or a statue. My bad. And let's go. Oh, 
It's light. All right, so I'm gonna place down a chest, or a chest. What am I saying? A torch. Ooh, there's more. All right. Oops. 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 I got hit. All right, come at me, bro. Oh crap. Okay, just barely missed. Boom. Boom. Get away from me. All right, I'm running. I'm running, guys. Oh, I have nowhere to run. Okay. Well, we're gonna juke these dudes out. Juked. And we're gonna go up. Going up. And. Alright. So let's get my pick. Okay, oh crap, oh crap. Hurry in line, hurry in line. Run! Okay, okay, okay. Now there's only one, so I think I can take him. Woo! Get out of me. Ooh, crap. Crap, I'm getting killed. I'm getting killed pretty bad. Alright, so an Antelon Charger got me that time. Um, or, or an antlion, antlion. What am I saying? Antlion charger got me. So we dropped three silver and twenty-six copper. So I think that's all of our copper. But we still have two silver, which is basically all we need. And it's gonna be night time. So let's go back over to our house, and we're gonna house him real quick. Um, you don't have to do this on your first day, like I already said. And then we're gonna uh get some good tools with our tin and our uh lead ores hopefully and so you know when you're getting your fire boost thingies when that thing comes up and so i'm just gonna make kind of a little room for him um okay i need another door so i got a door so i need a chair a table and a door all right we got those and so Boom, boom, boom. Oops, I just trashed all that stuff. What an idiot I am. Nope, I just trashed them again. Oh my gosh, I just trashed all my ores. What an idiot I am. Don't do that, guys. Don't shift click. This isn't Minecraft. Oh my gosh, I am stupid. Alright, oh, let's just. I guess. Live and learn, live and learn. Can I get a table from right here? Nope go all the way back so I'm just gonna keep that door open so I don't have to keep opening and closing it and where did our table go nope go back up nope nope stop stop boop boop nope nope okay thank you and I am struggling today guys all right well let's throw that table down throw you down there you go and there's our first zombie over there he's got 50 life so housing, sticky right there. All right, so he's in there. He'll he'll come running over in a minute as soon as he gets past this zombie. Hopefully he'll come over like right now and help me out with this zombie and this slime that are attacking me. Oh, there's another zombie on the other side of the house, and I'm getting swarmed by zombies and slimes. Alright, let's give him one more wa oops. Give him one more whack. Two more whacks. Three more whacks, okay. Fifty-eight copper and a wooden arrow. And we got two more. We got some more guests over here. And before I take those dudes out, I'm gonna get another room going over here so in the morning uh some dude can come over to my house and uh he can live here. And we can trade with him. Alright. So we got... So let's put down our door. Close that. Okay, you idiot. Alright, well, apparently our guide it wants to kill us. So, that's very nice. And let's just check this house inquiry real quick. And housing is suitable. Okay. So now, thank you for closing the door, you dummy. So thank you for letting the zombies come in. And let's run over here. Run, 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 run. And boop. Oh, how many zombies are in there? Guy, get over here and help me, bruh. Who do you think you are? You think you live in my house without helping me? Oh, crap. He's gonna freaking hit me. Ooh, and I. We'll go kill him in a minute. After we deal with these zombies. Dude, start. Get your bow out and start shooting. Thank you. Okay, they're going to get us backed up in this corner right here. 
Yeah, don't open the door. Okay. Well, we've kind of got a stupid guide, so... Dude, if you, if you would just shoot your dang arrows, that would have gone by a lot faster. And now I'm going to go kill this demon eye over here and hop up and whack him out midair. Boom. Boom. Okay, he's running away. Goodbye. Ooh, we got a zombie. These ones are a little bit weaker. It only lasts 39 health. And we got him stuck on a cliff, so he's dead. And let's just keep whacking him. Give him a couple more good whacks over the head. Whack. 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 Alright. And we'll jump up and give you a whack. Alright. And give you another whack. And we are low on battery. Good thing I got my charger over there. I just gotta. F uh, more demon eyes. You dang demon eyes. And you dang zombies. Crap, we only have 32 left. Get, guide, get out here and help. I will seriously take you out, man. I am done with this. Okay, I got a 71 copper in a lens. Or 77 copper in a lens. Uh, lenses are going to be very important if you want to fight the first boss. The Eye of Chinchilla. Or whatever it is. Chinchilla. I don't know what it's called. But, alright. So we're just going to go cray cray on you. Come on. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. I want your lens. Yes, that's right. Get whacked. Yes, that's right. Get stuck in the house. Get stuck in the house. Ouch. We have ten life. If he gets one more hit off on us, we're finished. Ah. Uh, oh, just barely missed him. And, oop. Here he goes. Here he goes. Give him that last whack he needs. And, oops. Why am I chasing the the remnants of his body i need to get the copper all right so guys thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys survived your first night and hopefully you guys didn't throw away your resources like i did because i'm kind of out of it today sorry about that but so i threw away all my tin tin isn't really that bad to throw away um so let's just scroll through real quick and I don't think we can get anything guys so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in the next tutorial I'll bring out to you guys as soon as I can and we got some flaming arrows so make sure to comment and like this so I can bring this to you guys more often because if you guys show your support that mean that shows me that you guys want more of this and I can I will always bring you guys whatever you guys want. So if you guys want Minecraft, go down in the comment section, comment you want more Minecraft. If you want this, go down in the comment section, say you want this, and I will see you guys all later. Peace.